let's um, get our items to paginate so items to paginate we'll do the same thing as we did but selecting a different variable so we'll say settings dot items to paginate okay so this will hold the items to paginate so now next what we want to do is we want to inject a list of links inside of here for the pagination links so we'll do that in javascript that's possible because we've been giving where to put the links in which is pagination container and page so we'll say we'll create ul tag an empty one and then oh sorry <laughs> should be ul not li dot prepare to pagination container so what that will do is it will insert an empty ul tag inside of here so we'll go to our document and then refresh and then oh sorry actually before refreshing we have to call our script now we have a semi working script it's not complete but we'll just as we're going we'll be testing it to make sure that we don't do any mistakes so we'll go into a custom here dot js and then we'll do a document dot ready just remember guys just like we did in here we can wrap that document already inside of this function as here but since you are the one that the script user will be using this document already so it depends whether you know that this dollar sign isn't being used by any other script if it is used by any other script you'd have to wrap it in fact actually let's wrap it here just for you know let's wrap it inside a self invoking function let's say j query just to be safe so we'll do this so document dot ready with the jquery dollar sign namespace what we'll do is we'll call our our pagination script so we will select um, this pagination here um, in using our plugin so we'll select the class the element with a class of paginate dot we'll call our function now custom custom paginate and then we'll pass it an object with settings so what will be inside of settings it will be a key name um, property it will be a values of key names so what in this simple scenario what we want to pass is items to paginate actually i just realized that we made a mistake somewhere so items to paginate is these items here this list of posts that what we're trying to paginate so we'll select this we'll copy the post class and then we'll pass it that as what we want to paginate so let's go back to our paginate plugin i just realized that we did a mistake since the way jQuery is set up, anything that you select here and you pass it to your plugin, it will be given the um it will be stored inside of this. So pagination container actually is equals to this. So it actually has been selected for us automatically. So down here we don't need to come back and say pagination container select this because it's actually been done for us only we have to get items to paginate from the settings for so sorry about that guys that was a bit of a trip up <laughs> that's what happens when you've um, stayed up all night coding all right so selecting the pagination container and then calling our plugin now because our plugin automatically what it does first is inject an empty ul tag inside of our pagination container so let's go into uh, the browser and refresh that and then see what happened so we've refreshed that seems like nothing happened but when we look inside of our HTML here 
Uh, okay. So in pagination, we don't have anything there. It seems like we did miss names when we were calling our script. So we'll go to custom here. So document ready. Items to paginate. We've got that right. Um, what did we miss? Pagination container. Hmm. Okay, this is a bit of a tricky one, but we'll figure it out. Don't worry. All right, custom paginate. Ah, guys. <laughs> Okay, I forgot to tell you that um, your plugin, you don't need to put it inside a document that ready because it won't get called automatically. It's just setting up how when this function has been called, what happens. So when we do it in a document that ready there, it's really not necessary. Well, I think that's the problem. So let's go back and refresh and see what happens. So we have a buddy here. Ah, still nothing. Wow, that is uh, a bit of a shame. Okay, I'll just pause the video for a bit and then um, try to. <coughs> okay, guys, um, I'm back. Um, so the pr I just figured out the problem. It was because of a naming um, problem that we had. So as you can see here, default is been highlighted. We can't use default for some reason. It seems like it's a reserve word in some jQuery um, part of the plugin. So after renaming that to defaults with an S it seemed to work so let's go back to our browser and then refresh when we look into the body tag here and then open page so as you can see inside of our page pagination div we have be, we have injected a UL element empty one so that's what we wanted so now what we want to do is see how many of these items to paginate are there and then try to find out how many links that we need so basically the way we do that is we get how many links we need by creating a new variable up here we'll say number of um, pagination links the way we get that is uh, we'll do a mat dot sale on um, the l how many items to paginate. We'll count how many items there are to paginate. We'll do a uh, items to paginate dot length divided by um, items per page. So that's stored inside of the settings um, object. So we'll say settings dot items per page and then yeah basically that's that's what we need so the reason we're doing a seal is okay um let's say we had 12 items so when you divide a number by a number so in that in this case 12 divided by items per page 5 12 over 5 is 2.4 but how JavaScript does it, it will only return, it will return 2.4. But since we need a perfect number, so 12 items, how many links do we need if we want to display five items on a page? We actually need three links. So what ceiling does is, it takes your um, boolean, sorry, it takes your double number. For example, um, uh, 2.5, it just bumps it up to the, n to the next um, whole number. So the next maximum whole number let's say you have 2.8 it will bump it up to 3 if you have 2.1 it will bump it up to, to to 3 as well if you have 2 exactly it will just keep return 2 back to you so now that we figured out how many pagination links we need we'll um, loop through all of them index so now continue our for loop we'll say from 0 to less than number of pagination links um, what we'll do is inside of our um, inside of this empty UL tag that we've injected inside the pagination container, we will inject.